Hello everyone, this is Zibo and welcome to this AFK Journey video. So in today's AFK Journey video, I'm going to do a Dream Realm mini guide. And the reason why I'm calling it a mini guide is because uh, Dream Realm is actually a very complex game mode and there's a few bosses that are currently in the run. So for the Pioneer server, we actually have four bosses which cycles every two days. And each of the boss have a very unique set of dealing with them. And I'll save the boss specific guides once global release because uh, in the future they might change the mechanics they might introduce more bosses and there's honestly no point in focusing on the strategies because right now at where we are for cbt most of us won't have the choice of which units to run because you can't spend to get more you have to play with the units you get based on the tickets that they give you and number two you don't have the power to talk about strategy because in this game mode itself stats do matter you need the stats to do damage you need the stats to survive and number three honestly speaking the rewards doesn't really matter i think understanding the game mode and what to do under different situations is what's more important so that's the purpose of this guide so without further ado i'm gonna also share my team build up the team that i'll be running for the various bosses and talk about the rationale right so that will be at the end of the video so without further ado let's jump into number one the mechanics you want to keep a lookout for so all the four bosses have something that's uh similar to them each of them has a spe specific uh boss specific mechanic right so for necro drake it's this uh over here this abyss crest for the croaker is the insta kill ability and for our dear uh, unknown nightmare so this is boss i can't remember i think it's called skyclops right for skyclops it's uh the ability to summon minions which make it inbound so these are their boss specific so all the bosses right will have all these skills on top of them so i'm not gonna go into details as to uh, what each one do at least not for this guy so you guys can go read it and understand what this boss do on a more individual level so from here you will understand okay how this boss is going to function what are the units that are better for this boss and what is potentially the better lineup for this boss so that's the mechanics portion so one thing that i want you guys to know that is that all the boss right they will have a aoe ability which means the boss will have this skill that deals damage to all units on the board so this is no exception for necro drake for skyclops for king croaker they all have an aoe ability so for the team building perspective what you want for your team is a team that is able to benefit as much from the faction bonus as possible so that you get more attack more hp so you can survive better and do more damage well at the same time you want a boss that's good for the specific mechanic of the uh, the boss itself right so for necro dragon i'm gonna talk about necro dragon specifically because uh, we are on this boss right now so this boss specific ability or this specific skill set is this abyss crest which will cause him to summon this crest beneath an enemy hero so if the enemy hero does not move then it will cause damage while reducing energy gain efficiency so what happens here is that um if your units are the non-movable type so those units stays on the spot then they will be affected by abyss crash because they will get their energy reduced and their attack reduced as well so this is something you want to take a look out for and obviously they also take damage from there so this is a boss specific skill and as you level up the boss itself the skills will get more powerful so do take note so moving back to the the boss right this is the general lineup that i'm running um i'm gonna talk about the units which are gonna be good for the boss game modes no matter what so um these three right they are pretty much i'll say like the staple for bossing at least for dream Realm. so they, they are the very general units and all of them except for kruger right they are all pretty good for other game modes as well so if you do get them do use them for the game mode and they help you push your contents pretty fast so these three they are your i'll say like must have bosses they are generally very good and they do very well so with more stats they skill even better so from here as you guys can see right we have two of the maulers unit so for this um for this boss fight itself or for the bossing in general i'm using brutus so brutus is not exactly the best boss unit but for this cbt itself he is quite good because he has a five second invulnerability which is able to allow him to take hits from the bosses without dying buying enough time for my backline to use skills so the team that i'm using right now is this one so centendra i'm using her for her third ability so centendra has this ability which 
allows your teammate to gain spark which allows you to do additional damage to the boss so more damage from the back line as well and this will give me or rather this gives me my fourth hero faction bonus which is an 18 percent buff to my hp and attack so that's for my faction bonus so this is the team that i'm running even for for necro drake as well so in case you guys are wondering why the hell is this guy you know like why how how did he do so much more damage compared to other people that's basically the lineup so i had a little bit of stats on my side and I had this lineup with which had a lot of faction so I was able to survive one wave of croaker and then throw in all my skills to do that amount of damage so for the artifact itself let's be honest here like you guys haven't been able to experience the full power of the artifact in most bossing scenario astro tome is actually the best bossing artifact but uh, I think at least for CBT itself solar poem is probably the better one because it provides the most stats that uh, is efficient for boss run so the defense stats is ma massive the penetration is good right and it deals uh, fireball damage periodically giving you more damage so this is the artifact that i'm running right now but in most cases uh, astro tome is actually better at the higher levels right so this one is very hard to showcase because i can't upgrade it but i will showcase a run that i have on my other account at the end to let you guys see how uh auto boss fight looks like at the at the end game stage so this is for solar poem so these are the things that uh, i'll say like they are pretty general so another thing that i want you guys to take note of is your positioning so based on what the boss can do so this one i have to use uh, for example croaker so croaker's third skill the aoe skill right deals the water bomb damage at the area of the most enemy so this affects the positioning where you put your unit so when croaker for example this is croaker right she throws out a bomb it will hit the area with the most enemy so what happened is these three units will charge in front they will die from the initial wave of the bomb because um at where we were we don't have enough stats to survive the damage but my brutus will stay alive will taunt the boss and then reduce the defense so my backline is able to do damage and then they, since they survive right you'll be able to train their skill which allows me to jam in more damage on the boss so so that is how i ran for for necro drake I, I mean for croaker right for necro drake i'm pretty much running the same but the thing is i think my damage is uh, not optimal yet in rank 21 so uh, i'll probably try it again maybe with a different combination so uh, i'll see how it is but generally this is the things you want to know on the more general level so for me sometimes if i do think that i don't need to survive that well i can just throw in our dear Laika here to jump in more damage so Laika has a haste buff defense reduction and an attack speed buff which just allows you to jump in more damage at the start right really really good for just pushing off early damage before you die and um if you have another hyper carry which is merrily she's also pretty good but uh merrily is not as good in the early game as compared to the two of them so that's something that's the reason why i'm not using her and because her ranking is lower so she's not gonna do as good of a damage at least in cbt itself right so that's for the general guide i think this game mode is really fun uh, but my personal favorite but i spend a lot of time on this game mode on I'll say every time the boss reset to experiment with the different things the different lineups as well as the the units so yeah hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to achieve more damage to get the desired damage you want for dcbt and thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more afk journey contents from this channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys